Our next speaker will be Bente Kolding, who will be talking about accepting yourself. So everyone, please welcome Bente. Are you hanging out with the right people or the people you really want to hang out with? When my sister was in the first grade, she was part of a group of girls who had formed a club. Being part of that club was really cool, but it was not all that nice, apparently. She often came home with stories about how she was not allowed to play with girls who were not part of the group. She was told, if you hang out with them, you are no longer part of this club. Or she'd come home with her arm full of pen drawings, saying that the leader of the club had drawn on her and that she did not dare to stop her. These are examples of peer pressure. But what exactly is peer pressure? It is giving its influence from members of your peer group. Now, people give in to peer pressure because they want to be liked, to fit in, or because they worry that kids will make fun of them if they don't go along with the group. In addition, people give in because they lack self-confidence, since they often do not accept who they are. Others give in because they want to try something new that their group is doing. The idea that everyone's doing it may make that some kids leave their common sense behind. Though, don't get me wrong, peer pressure is not necessarily a bad thing. We all are influenced by our peers, both negatively and positively. It defines who we are and how we feel about certain topics in our lives. It is how we choose to react to peer pressure that defines who we are as individuals. Are you a leader or a follower? So, negative peer pressure is the type of pressure that you may find yourself wanting to avoid because it makes you feel uncomfortable. I want you now, as an individual, to think of an occasion, recently or in the past, where you felt uncomfortable around certain people or social gatherings because you felt pressured to do something in order to fit in or stand out. Start thinking now. As you were thinking, think of some of the thoughts or self-talk you were having at the time. Was it something like, I don't want to do this, or what if someone finds out? Some common negative peer pressures that Kids Help Plain found were pressure to try drugs, alcohol, or cigarettes, pressure to have sex, either by a partner or by a friend, pressure to dress a certain way that feels uncomfortable, or pressure to shoplift or steal, and there are many more. On the other hand, there's positive peer pressure. This is, for example, being encouraged by a friend to do well in a sport or school. I want you now to think of an occasion where you were encouraged by your peer to do something for the better, not for them, but for yourself. Some common positive peer pressures that Kids Helpline found were encouraging somebody to stop smoking or encouraging somebody to try something new that is of interest to them. Now, the main difference between positive and negative peer pressure is the way it makes you feel and the intention behind your friends' encouragement or pressure. Now, negative, positive peer pressure is designed to make you feel better, healthier, or happier. Where, on the other hand, negative peer pressure will make you feel the opposite, unhappy, unwell, or uncomfortable. So, What's the bottom line? Accept yourself. This may oftentimes be proven to be very difficult, yet it's always for the better. Appreciate who you are and know what you are comfortable with. Learn to say no to the things that feel wrong and learn to say yes to the things that feel right. Because once you're comfortable with your situation, appreciate who you are and have courage, everything flows. You are in charge of your decisions and your thoughts. But before you can make those wisely, you have to accept yourself. Now I want you to ask yourself this question again. Are you hanging out with the right people or the people you really want to hang out with? Thank you. <laughs>